Hey guys, today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a walk around my area. I'll show you some of the really good plants that you can use if you're trying to break your smoking habit. If you're like me, you can't really use the nicotine patches and the gum because it just, to me at least, it feels like there's something missing from it. So I'll take you out and I'll show you some really good plants that you can use to help break your habit. Just keep watching. This is the mullein plant. If you're trying to quit smoking, this is my favorite plant to use. Great, great plant to know. You can tell by the soft leaves on it. This is a second year plant. I'll show you a first year plant so you can really tell the difference between the first and second year. But it has this nice, fe this <clears throat> nice hairy, excuse me, leaves on it like this here. It's also called cowboy toilet paper. It's nice and feathery. You can feel those little hairs on it. Make sure that those hairs are on it. Make sure you can feel those little hairs. You don't want to misidentify this plant with foxglove or anything. But that is the mullein plant. Here's another really good plant. If you're trying to quit smoking, this is the yarrow plant. You can see how it's got these little white flower tops. It's kind of died out. I'll put a picture up so you can get a better feel for how it really looks. But you really want to pay attention to the leaves on this plant. It'll look just like this and the leaves will look just like that. Do not get this plant confused with poison hemlock or water hemlock, any of the poisonous hemlocks. You really want to watch out for poisonous lookalikes to this one. This is a great plant if you're trying to quit smoking. You can take those leaves, dry them out just like with mullein. That's what I'm going to do. This is some St. John's wort. You can see those little yellow flowers on it. Those opposite leaves. This plant, you can actually dry the leaves and the flowers out and make a tea out of it and drink it. It's gonna help fight your cravings for cigarettes. Really cool plant. There's a lot of different members of the St. John's wort family. They all may look a little bit different, but they are pretty much the same. The best way to use this stuff, the yarrow and the mullein at least, is just to dry it out and then grind it up like we did here and just put it in a baggie. And if you're using St. John's wort, the best way to use it is to let the flowers and the leaves dry out. And then do the same thing with it, but only use it as a tea. You don't smoke this. You can smoke St. John's wort, but it's better just to have it as a tea. It'll help stop your cravings for wanting a cigarette. But <clears throat> great plants, guys. But mullein is definitely my favorite when it comes to plants that help you quit smoking. Mainly because you can get so much of it off of a single plant, especially a second year plant. You can load up a really really big bag of that stuff in no time all those plants are pretty easy to find guys but if you do know some more plants that are great for breaking the smoking habit just let me know in the comments i like to know what everybody else kind of uses but <clears throat> i want to thank everybody for watching my video hit that like button subscribe leave any comments and as always keep your blade sharp your mind sharper see you next time thanks for watching